the question that was posed to the senators, which is, what are your top three priorities to improve the business climate, and how will you work to change the status quo in Lansing to accomplish these goals? Hope you all enjoyed your Father's Day. And uh, if you would say a little prayer for my father, he'll be having a little surgery later this afternoon, and I'll uh, be joining him with that. But again, my name is Arlo Meekoff. It's been my great privilege to serve as state representative for the 89th District for just over three years. Uh, my wife and I have lived in Ottawa County for, for 30 years uh, and, and more and we, in our married life. We have three children, two grandchildren, and I've served uh, in, in Ottawa County in many capacities. We've been school board president, I've been a township supervisor where we were able to remove some barriers and help business grow. But uh, most of you know me as state representative. And I've been uh, very, 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 very honored to serve in that capacity. Uh, the question before us today is, uh, what are your top three priorities to improve the business climate and how will you work to change the status quo? Uh, I, have a, I have a history of that, starting all the way back to uh, the township supervisor days, when we removed lots of barriers for a number of folks, including Howell Lincoln Mercury, Tallsville Furniture, and they were able to risk their capital and expand over in the south side of Olive Township. And I've carried that, that forward as I've been a business operator. I ran a small company called Hudson Lock, and there we removed barriers for the, all the office furniture industry and helped them reduce their cost, improve their bottom line, and, uh, and improve their service for the, the products of which we, we uh, provided them. The top three priorities I have are jobs, jobs, and jobs. I mean, we need to look at every, under every single rock we have to find the jobs that we can, we can have in this uh, community. Uh, I've done that by reducing regulation. An example would be the wetlands permitting process in the state of Michigan. Uh, one, one part of the state says we should just let that go back to the federal government. And Michigan has more to, to, to lose than anybody in wetlands permitting. So we kept that here. We actually reformed it and made it so that the wetlands permitting process could be no, no more egregious than the federal standard. So we res restricted that and removed that and made sure that businesses can grow. I think it's also interesting when I worked on the Ag uh, Committee that we were able to remove some barriers for them as well. And our Ag Community is actually the only businesses in Michigan, or nearly only business, that is actually producing new jobs. They have about a 9% growth in their jobs. And that is very encouraging because they're a salt of the earth people and we believe in, in our agriculture. Now it's no secret that Michigan is challenged. It's no secret. But I prefer to look at the glass half full. And if you're an engineer, there's, here's the joke. Is the glass half full or half empty? An engineer tells you that you have too big a container. But we need to understand that Michigan ha is great. And we proved ourselves over and over again. From a fur trading, trapping industry when we first weren't even a state, to logging and mining and cars, and I'm not sure what it is that's going to be next, but I know the entrepreneurs in Michigan know what's next. And I'm willing to stand there with them and engage and make sure that we can have jobs here for our kids and our grandkids. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, good morning. Uh, my name is Brett Vanderkamp, and I can honestly tell you that I never thought I'd be running for state senate. I'm a businessman and an entrepreneur by uh, nature. But uh, as we all know, Michigan is in grave uh, economic trouble. We're in trouble because this governor and this legislature have uh, failed to avert Michigan's unemployment crisis. The result of this is that we have seen a staggering uh, number of jobs vanish in the past four years, roughly around 660,000 of them, jobs that were done by many of our friends and family. Most of you know me as the founder and president of New Holland Brewing Company, and you know that uh, New Holland has been blessed to have continued success uh, in spite of Michigan's dismal economy. Under my guidance, our products are now distributed in 14 states and the nation's capital. We employ 95 people, and I believe we are partly responsible for helping transform Holland's downtown. But more importantly, I'm a husband and a father of two young boys, Braden and Gwen, and they're the real reasons I'm running for office. I want them to have the same opportunities that I have had in Michigan, and I'm convinced that those opportunities will not exist if we don't institute bold changes in the way the state of Michigan does business. First, we need to eliminate the Michigan business tax on our smallest businesses. In today's fiercely competitive world, we cannot afford to give any business a reason not to set up shop and grow, Mich and grow in Michigan. And the MBT does just that. It's a job killer. Second, we need to eliminate all non-essential spending and shrink the size of government state government specifically. This will not be easy. Everyone will want their piece of the pie, and everyone will believe that their funding is essential. 
who will need bold and principled leadership to guide us through this difficult process. Everybody asked for an example of what would I cut? An example of this type of wasteful spending is the new Michigan State Police Headquarters, which was completed this past winter. One of my opponents, Representative Mikoff, correctly pointed out in why this was wasteful uh, spending in a YouTube video that he posted on his website last fall. It was too expensive, $40 million to build, and it's gonna cost the state over $5 million a year to lease. The cost of it forced 100 state troopers off the road, and all this, uh, the state police did not want the new building. They already had a functioning headquarters on MSU's campus that cost just a dollar a year to lease. All good reasons not to move forward with the project. Yet when it came time to vote on it, he voted for the appropriations bill to fund the new headquarters. Mr. Mikoff was publicly against it before he voted for it. It is this type of inside Lansing activity that is literally costing the state of Michigan hundreds of millions of dollars. It is this type of wasteful spending that has to stop if we're going to turn around Michigan and have a future for our children and grandchildren. Lastly and thirdly, I promise to help usher in a new era of transparency. I'm going to follow Representative Amash's lead and post my votes on Facebook for the world to see. Comments will be welcome. Thank you, and uh, I welcome uh, your vote on August 3rd, if you would be so kind. The food is great, the company is great. Got to meet a lot of pe uh, people out here, and really enjoying talking, meeting you. My name is Timothy O'Donnell. I am married to uh, Karen, who is a paramedic and a small business owner. So I do have some experience in uh, business, uh, even though I don't own it. Being the husband of, a, of the owner, I do get some uh, requests to assist her at times. I'm a uh, firefighter with the city of Perrysburg, and my entire adult career I have been in the public service. As uh, either working on the ambulance, as an EMT, uh, and uh, or as a, uh, a firefighter. I have a very deep uh, interest, a very uh, intense love for people, and I'm also a man of action. If you look at my, my uh, record and what I've done, if I say I'm going to do something, I do it. I do not quit until I'm done. We have some very critical issues that need to be taken care of in this state, they need to be corrected. Of course, the, the big one being jobs. 2009, Ottawa County had an unemployment rate of 12.5%, double from the year before, with a loss of over 4,000 people from this county. Just this county alone. We need to correct that. We need to make this a place, a go-to state, a go-to county. We need to do that by making incentives, bring people in, get rid of the small business tax, get rid of or eliminate the uh, Michigan business tax, give incentives. The other thing is that has to be tied hand in hand with that is our education. A lot of our education programs don't work. We have a lot of brilliant, very intense entrepreneurs out there that are in the making and we need to support that. So education, we need to take a look at what's working, keep it, even uh, clone it if we can. If it's broken, fix it. If it's not working, get rid of it. Our economy, we need to make it grow. Our uh, education program, fix it. And last of all, get a voice of the people back into the legislature, into Congress. We, in the, as uh, legislators, work for the people, not the other way around. And I think that's what a lot of them have, have forgotten.